Hi, I'm Michael Brook. I'm a filmmaker here in Norfolk and I just wanted to introduce this short film about an artist here on the North Norfolk coast. She lives here in Burnham Market called Lucy Jacqueline. Lucy, I think, is a truly creative artist, as most of them are, of course, but her work is really innovative and it seems to me that you'll, you'll see from this film that a lot of the work that she does has got a story behind it. It's usually really autobiographical. I think my favourite story is the one called A Place on Earth. It's probably my favourite piece as well. It's towards the end of the film, so let me know what you think. Lucy Jacqueline. I'm Lucy Jacqueline and this is my studio in my garden. Um, people probably know me for my cards, which I've got here. Um, they are available in the town at the tea room and uh, at the art monger. So I'm uh, trying out this marbling with uh, oil paint and pastels and I'm hoping that's going to give me something exciting. Actually this is the way that I've um, done some of the cards actually. The crab was done with the marbling technique and um, what I love about it is it's all made by water which is so appropriate really. And lobster also was done. The lobster was done with the uh, marbling technique and I just cut out the um, the image, drew it and cut it out. I've got some, some apples that I did for Apple Day at Thornham. Um, that's quite autobiographical really because my mum had a lovely orchard with all sorts of apples in and uh, I just wanted to show how many varieties they were and what, what, what they looked like. You know, they're not all just standard supermarket apples. Now this one is actually, if I can find it, I don't know if I can. Oh, here it is. This one. Uh, and I gave it to my brother to do and he photoshopped it and turned it into to this for me. He's drawn around it and uh, so this is like uh, the collaboration with my brother. Fenders and floats. My dad used to live in Mevagissi and um, I took several photographs down there and, and, and that's what the boats are like down there. The lovely floats, beautiful colours and um, so that's quite a nice one. This one I designed for Virtual Windmill and um, They've got that on their trays and their mugs, which I'm quite proud of. And um, obviously they make sheep's cheese up there. So um, all the sheep have little cheese recipes on there. And these are all the wheels that actually make the windmill go around. And this is the bakery and the cottage. This one, this is all about Lord Nelson, our local hero. Um, I called it Homage to the Great Sailor. The background is actually the Bible because his father was a vicar. And uh, the blue bit are um, the stars, navigation by the stars. And uh, the stamps are really just for the sort of correspondence between him and his family. These are um, some Rebecca's um, in my garden. I love Rebecca's and I really wanted to paint them. So I have used some of the marbling technique in there, but some, some of the background, there's all sorts of things really. There's even some spray paint in there and some collage. Beach huts, that's another one. I just love walking on the beach and picking things up, picking up stones and shells. And so that was the idea behind that one. It's called Beach Combing. It's not really all about my dad because um, my dad was in the film industry and he used to go to London every day and that's where he would have got this paper paper from the Evening Standard. This is when they landed on the moon, you know, the day after they landed on the moon. And I remember sitting on his lap watching it on the telly. And uh, I didn't see a lot of Dad really because he was always working. So it was quite um, a lovely experience, I suppose. A good, me happy memory. And also he um, built a fishing boat uh, and we, as kids, would go 
took round to the neighbours selling fish from a bucket and so that's where the place comes from really it's one of my sort of earliest memories really picking up this slimy place and putting it on a piece of newspaper and wrapping it up and uh, so that's what it's all about really and it's called a place on earth my husband named it but I said what can I call it he said a place on earth <laughs> so that's perfect and I have